uh, we're returning now uh, a number of kids that have been here for the entire four years. And, uh, you know, leading that list is Aaron Schoenfeld, who is our senior captain. Uh, he's, he's really developed as a player from, from year one when he came in, uh, now in a, in a senior year. Uh, last year, he really had a breakthrough year, uh, started scoring goals on a more consistent basis. And uh, it's never been a question with his work rate and his determination uh, to get in front of goal, to, to get involved, uh, to do the dirty work. He's a guy that's absolutely not afraid to get into tackles. And uh, you know we've got, we've got big aspirations uh, as a team, and Aaron's going to be a big part of that. Last year, we, we proved that we could score goals and that we could create quite a few chances. I think this year, we've improved upon that even, even more so. Uh, David Haba now going in as a redshirt junior has, has really worked hard uh, last year to improve and he's, uh, he's a handful going forward. He creates chances, his movement's very intelligent. And then uh, we have Frank Dumbe who's going to be joining the team this year. Uh, he came from Tyler Junior College. He's got pace, he can take players out wide, he's technical, he can come inside. Um, and then when you start talking about our attacking midfield players, uh, Fubi and Alessi, can get the ball down and uh, can control the tempo of a game. Uh, and then on top of that now you got Theo Yang and David Gino, who are both very, very clever, very sharp players uh, around the goal. At the back, uh, we now have uh, Blake Woodruff, who played as a right back last year. He can play as a holding mid as well. And going forward, he's He's very good, but also really, really tenacious, not afraid to get into a tackle. Uh, on the other side, Nate Hodges, and uh, he's much the same. Very good pass for the ball, very good left foot, not afraid to get into a tackle, good in the air. Uh, and then in the middle so far, it's been uh, Ronnie Westbrook, who is a tremendous athlete, uh, very good in the air, and uh, has, has great pace at the back. He is then coupled so far with Simon Schrodel, and Simon's a freshman this year. He's from Germany. Really good passer of the ball out of the back. And that's something I think that uh, we haven't had up to this point. And so he, he's really able to help us play the balls forward into midfield and, and uh, even into the forwards. So he brings that new dimension to us at the back. Um, so we're excited about the back four. It's, it's pretty much the same as last year with, with one major change in Simon, but it's starting to come together. Our coaching staff this year has uh, Ian Loya, who's actually been here since uh, the beginning of the program, and really we've we've helped to build this program together. And uh, he's a phenomenal recruiter, uh, very very good coach, uh, and you know he has great relationships with the players. So we're excited that that he'll be part of the staff. Uh, David Lilly, as well, he was uh, here last year, joined us and he was coaching over at Milligan. Uh, professional player, played with the Railhawks, very good uh, midfield player, has a really, really good understanding of the game, uh, tactically very adept, so uh, he adds a lot to our staff as well. And I think all in all, you know, the, uh, the staff, we get on really well. Uh, we work hard uh, together, and uh, you know, I, think, I think the players appreciate uh, how hard we work to try to put them in a great situation to be successful.